Hello everyone! Behind me you can see my finished solenoid steam engine diorama. Shall we take a closer look at it? In the last video I designed and 3D printed a solenoid steam engine and it works pretty well. But I really want to take the project a step further, so I came up with the idea for a diorama. So I went a little crazy in Wings 3D and just designed the entire thing in there. I really wanted to have actual functioning water pumps that actually pumped real water. So I made a little test design and 3D printed it and yeah, it's working. Okay, now that I had confirmed that it worked, it was time to print the rest of the design. It was also the first time I had to design real physical gears, so that was interesting, but it all worked out. For the paint job, I just went for a nice industrial black and brass. I also dry brushed with some metallic paint to give it that metal look. I hadn't originally designed the engine to have a gear attached, but luckily the axle poked out just enough to align it and glue it. Of course the diorama also needs a base plate, so I cut up some uh, MDF I still had lying around. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Finally the weather cleared up and I got myself some beach sand. And well, I'm using some school glue, you know, that classic stuff. <laughs> I'm spreading this out everywhere I want the sand to attach to the model. And then I just sprinkle the sand on there. I'm doing just a small part of the diorama to test things out, see if it works out, and it does. So I finish things off with a layer of varnish. The layer of glue and a layer of varnish will work together to keep everything in place. Besides sand, I of course also need some nature. So I'm making some grass from hemp. Just add some brown and green paint and you have some pretty nice little scrubs. In the meantime, I also finished up the wall around the pumps and I finished the drainage pipe. I wasn't entirely happy with the color of the sand. It was a little bit too bright and didn't mesh with the rest of the uh, diorama very well. So I added some light brown paint, some green splotches, just to add more variety and depth to the texture. I also ended up adding a lot more scrubs. Okay, it's really getting there now. As you can see, I deviated from my original design a little bit. Since due my forgetfulness, I couldn't have actual water in the model, I got the idea to make it some sort of ruin. Everything is kind of neglected and falling apart. I do like the atmosphere of these kind of abandoned places. So I suppose it was only natural for me to go this direction. There's also a second reason. I am not that skilled at making dioramas yet. This it's my first time, so going for this kind of look uh, allowed me to cover up my uh, noobness a little bit. Anyways, it's time to open up the valves. I mean, this is an engine, so it will run. Time for uh, steaming, of sorts. Time to close up shop. I am very happy how this diorama turned out, especially for my first time. It was quite a learning experience with quite a few mistakes made, but in the end it did work out well enough that yeah, I'm happy with the result. I'm definitely gonna be making more of these dioramas, besides the Lego engines of course. I should probably get back to making Lego engines, yes.